early spring I like to get up somewhere between 6 and 7 a.m. and even on my days off I like to use my sunrise alarm clock so that I don't sleep in and sleep for the whole day because sometimes I could stay in my bed all day and just hit snooze and continue to sleep for way too long I always end up feeling way more sleepy when I do that so I try to rise as soon as my alarm clock goes off I try to stay off my phone as long as humanly possible in the morning and I rather try to connect with my body, with nature and the real life as soon as possible. Because I noticed on the days that I use my phone it always kind of imprints my mind for the rest of the day and makes me crave my phone much more than I'd like. On this day I was oiling my hair, this is something I do once or twice a week whenever I wash my hair, so this is something I don't do every day, um, but it happened to be my hair wash day. Going outside into nature as soon as possible, going for a short walk to listen to nature, to observe nature, became one of my favorite ways to crown myself early in the day. Because whenever I am outside, my heart is so full of joy, so full of gratitude, and it sets such a beautiful vibe for the day. I feel so alive and it always helps me remember who I truly am. So I just walk around for a few minutes, fully present and aware of my surroundings. And then I just like to stand there basically, close my eyes and listen really carefully. I listen for the sounds that I can hear, try to really immerse myself in nature's sounds. and then try to become one with it. Good morning. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so from my morning routine. I am trying to move rather quickly and do a little bit of everything. I'm trying not to spend too much time just lounging around because I used to do that and then throughout the rest of the day I wouldn't really get done anything I wanted to do. For me, especially in the morning, the most important thing is to just show up because sometimes I have this expect expectation in my mind that I have to meditate for 30 minutes now or that I need to work out for two hours now <laughs> and it doesn't have to be like that. The most important thing is always to just show up for yourself and then I 
try to not force myself to meditate too long. Like I just flow with it and it always depends on how I'm feeling that day and where my mind is at. After my meditation, when I'm really in tune or not, <laughs> I like to connect with the universe and ask for a card of the day, a tarot card, for some advice or a message for the day. Sometimes at the end of the day, I look at the card again and I'm like, yes, <laughs> it makes so much sense. So that's really cool. Namaste. Welcome to class. This is a journey to Ganda Berudasana or formidable face pose. Wherever you are, whatever it is that you're doing right now, let it come from a place of steadiness, peace. Our first goal is always internal peace and steadiness, good place, joy. Then you can have secondary goals and have the goal of getting your throat towards the floor, your chin, your chest towards the floor. But it always comes after the initial goal of internal peace and steadiness. Never ever work from a place that is unsteady. And after taking a shower, I like to nourish my body with a healthy breakfast. Usually something sweet, um, just in the days where I worked out with weights. I usually go for something with more protein, but I just love a <laughs> sweet breakfast. And whenever the weather allows it, I try to eat outside, especially in spring and summer, because it makes listening to my body and listening to my hunger cues so much easier and it helps me really connect with my food. And now here we are where my morning routine usually ends. This is everything I'm doing currently for my morning routine. I'm quite new to my morning routine because I never really had one before. And <clears throat> but now that I have one, I like it makes me feel so in tune with myself. And I just use this routine as a simple guide, like a guideline on what I can do in the morning, but it doesn't have to look like this all the time. Of course, every day is different, every day we feel different. I think the most important thing is just to show up for yourself in the morning, to do some things just for yourself and for your well-being. And it really sets a tune for the rest of the day. Whenever I do this morning routine, I feel so much more like my true self, almost like stepping into the highest version of myself. Also an important thing I want to say is that this is my morning routine for when I am off from work. So when I have to go to work in the morning, the whole routine looks very different. It's not that long because I just don't want to get up at 4 a.m. in the morning. So <clears throat> it's kind of a shortened version. A morning routine doesn't need to be perfect. I think it's just a, a guideline on what we can do to set up us to set us up for the rest of the day. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon.